Once we've identified a resource that we'd like to see, we still need to access the actual article. To do that, we'll need to select an item from the results page and click on the title. Once we've done that, we're taken to a page with further information on it, such as the abstract, clickable subject links, and the ability to cite the article. However, most of the time, the article will not appear directly on this page. To locate the full text, look to the top left corner of the page. There are a number of options that might appear here, so let's take a look at a few. Oftentimes, you'll see a link which reads either PDF full text, HTML full text, or both. When you see these links, you need only to click on them to be taken to the complete article. In the case of PDF full text, a link will appear which will allow you to download the article. Sometimes, though, the database may need to search other databases in order to access the particular article. If that's the case, there will be a different link which reads Find It at Pollock Library. If we click on this link, we'll be taken to the library catalog. If the article is available through other databases, a link will appear. We can click on this link to be taken to the actual article. Once here, we can download or share this article. If we do not have access to the article through one of our databases, we'll be told that no full text is available. This is telling us that we do not have access to the article through our library databases. However, it does not mean we can't get the article. In fact, we're told in this page that we can sign in for more options. Once signed in, a new link appears inviting us to request the item for delivery. This would be done through a service called Interlibrary Loan, or ILL. Using ILL, the article would be located through another library with access, and then electronically forwarded to the requester. This can take up to two to three business days. The article will arrive in the form of a PDF file. ILL is a completely free process and only requires the creation of an interlibrary loan account. Once you've done that, you may begin requesting articles. Using interlibrary loan is a great way to increase the number of resources available to you.